actually, I'm sitting here with a little peanut. This week's Pet of the Week comes to us by way of the Iowa County Humane Society. Joining me is Sharon Shea with Bayer. Well, this is a sweet little soul right here. He is. He's a year old terrier mix, possibly um, got some Norfolk Terrier in him. He's so cute. He's and a, he, he's, he's an adult. He is. He's, he's a year old, so he's, well, barely. he's still... He's still got a lot of puppy. Yes, he look at um, him. But, but he, he doesn't is, seem rambunctious. He's not. Um, it, it, he's a little reserved at first. Mm -hmm. um, then he starts to play after he gets used to you a little bit. He's very good with other dogs. I have large dogs. I have small dogs. And he's good with other dogs. He's very, um, he's very neutral. Just He likes to be part yep. of the pack. Yep. Good with children. Oh, um, fantastic. Reported to be good with children. Mm -hmm. um, we haven't been able to test that. Mm -hmm. But um, he's, he's a nice little boy. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, you just worked that, Auntie. <laughs> now, there is another dog that came with him to the shelter. Is the other dog, the two-year-old, still up for adoption? The two-year-old is still up for adoption. Mm -hmm. He is, he's blacker through the body, mm -hmm. but otherwise looks very much like him with prick ears. I don't want to totally ruin his comfort vibe here, but could you put him down just so sure. everybody at home can, can see how cute he really is? And you could see he's a, he's a, a little fella. That's a he's little fella. 10 pounds. <laughs> Oh, just look at that face. Are you feeling more comfortable? You're just feeling more comfortable. He's like, well, you're just, I'm going to go over here and say hi to Ben. Oh, what a sweetheart. And you know, come on, you want to call and say hi to Auntie? He's like, no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather not. You're a little weird for me. And you know, we really need some help because the woman who uh, surrendered both of her beloved pets was because she was sick. And I know if she's watching, nothing will make her feel better than to know that both of her babies will get a home. They don't have to go together. They don't. Just wanted to mention that there, there were two. Right. Oh, Sharon, this is just a sweet, sweet dog. I certainly hope that, that, that we find a loving home and a place for Bear to land. We'll make sure that we do. Yeah, that's why I love them. If you would like more information on Sweet Sweet Bear, go to NBC15.com, click on news links. Bear will be waiting for you at the Iowa County Humane Society in Dodgeville. Sharon, thank you so much. And look at this bear is like, this is awesome. I can just totally hang out right here. This is good. Charlie, isn't Bear just sweetest little soul with those Oh, whoa! I totally forgot. Oh. Popcorn. Popcorn. I'm so sorry. That's okay. I forgot. I'm like, you know, hello. Um, we had a recipe contest this summer. Mm -hmm. This is the winning recipe. Rural Route One is producing the popcorn. Everyone knows Rural Route One popcorn out in Montfort. I love them. I always order for my parents for Christmas. Yes. Yes. I love this stuff. Um, but if you order this, is it a particular brand you have to order? No. It's it's icy good pets. Okay. If you order icy good pets, it is. It's a little sweet, a little salty. It's got a touch of cinnamon. But all the pecans, proceeds go to proceeds. Iowa County Humane yes. Society. Yes. Oh, that is fantastic. And it's on our website, ICHS.net. Oh, think popcorn then. Think popcorn. Mostly it's good for you. <laughs> yes. I almost forgot that, Sharon. I wouldn't do that to you. And we love our friends at Rural Route 1. Yes. Love them. Okay.